Hi guys, and welcome to this video. Um, in this video, we'll explore how to find out the equation of a straight line if we have a gradient and one point. Okay, so we can use our gradient intercept form of a straight line, the y equals mx plus b, um, and we'll actually use the gradient and a single point. Okay, just so if we just had a straight line, so that blue line has a particular gradient m, and a single point, we'll just call it x1, y1. We can substitute that point into our equation y equals mx plus b. Now, that satisfies the equation. What that means is, for example, if I had y equals 2x plus 1, and I know that the point 1, 3 sits on that line, if I substitute 1, 3 into that line, it satisfies the equation. In other words, it makes sense. So, here's our y value, 3 equals 2 times x. Here's our x, so 2 times 1 plus 1. So, if you see that both sides actually equal each other, it satisfies the equation. So, if I substitute any point that lies on the line, into the equation, it satisfies the equation. So, that makes sense. Okay? So, if I substitute x1, y1 into y equals mx plus b, I get that relationship. And if I subtract the m, x1 to the other side, I have our y-intercept. So, no matter what the, um, the straight line is, this little relationship I can substitute into um, back into my original equation to find out a relationship, but that's where it crosses the y-axis. Now if I substitute this back into here, this is what I get. So mx, mx, plus b, and there's our b value. And I get it to... I get all the y values together, so this goes to the other side, so it becomes a minus, and these two match up together, and then I can factorize the value of m. And what I've got here is now a relationship of um, a straight line. So that's another way I can represent a straight line. So this is something we need to remember. If we have a gradient and a particular point, I can substitute it into this particular equation and find out what the equation of a straight line will be. Okay, so there are actually two ways we can do this. The first way will be using our y equals mx plus b form. So I'll show you that one first. So if the equation equals y equals mx plus b, m is 3 x1, or I could say my x value is 2, my y value is 7. <clears throat> so I know that because that's the gradient, it's going to be y equals 3x plus b. Now I'm going to substitute this point into my equation and try and find out what b is. So y equals 3x plus b, 2 times 3 is 6, take 6 away to the other side, I have b equals 1. Then I can substitute that back into my b value to find out what my um, equation will be. So y equals 3x plus 1. So that is one method. The second method is from our previous uh, relationship. Um, the y minus y1 equals m brackets x minus x1. So from here, I substitute my gradient into that particular part. That is my x1, that is my y1, and that's where I substitute those values in. So y minus 7 equals 3 brackets x minus 2. <coughs> I can now expand the brackets and then add the 7 to that side to get it in the form 
as what we had in the previous um, method. <coughs> okay, so you've got two methods to calculate the equation of a straight line. Um, the first one is from your gradient intercept form, and the other one is from our new equation, the y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. <coughs> Okay, so now this particular question has a gradient of negative one-third, so we've got a fraction. So this one's a little bit different. This method will be the same, y equals mx plus b. y equals negative one-third x plus b. That's your gradient, so we substitute our m value into there. So now we substitute our x1, y1 into our x and y calculate this which is negative 1 that will go to the other side but when it goes to the other side we add a 1 in other words we add 1 to both sides so b equals 2 and there's our equation method 2 using our other form substitute our three values in now when we get to this state um, we need to get rid of the 3 on the bottom so when you've got a 3 in the bottom, to get rid of it, you multiply it by 3 on the top. So we multiply both sides by 3. So I multiply this by 3, and multiply that side by 3. Those two cancel, and then we get the 3y minus 3. And over here, we have a negative 1, negative 1 times x, and negative 1 times negative 3. <clears throat> so expanding the brackets and then simplify it. So I'm going to get it to general form. So I'm going to get this x, get it to the other side, so adding an x and then getting this 3, subtracting 3 again we get negative 6. So the equations look a little bit different but one's in y equals mx plus b form, and the other one is in general form, ax plus by plus c equals naught. But you'll notice that they're the same equation, just in different forms. It doesn't matter how you specify your answer. If the question says, give it to a specific form, well then you obviously do that. But in this case it doesn't, so either answer is acceptable. Okay, thanks for watching this video.